Hello everybody, Dr. Gavin Gardner here with another short video to fill your brain with pearls. I'm sure that most of you don't recognize who this is in the picture, and it was taken a long time ago, so why should you? Well, that's because this is Dr. Alan Knavel, and he helped develop the signs that we use to diagnose flexor tenosynovitis. Flexor tenosynovitis is an infection involving the flexor tendon sheaths of the hand, the reason why it is so important to diagnose is that it is associated with significant morbidity, including chronic compromised function of the finger, as well as potential tendon rupture and even amputation of the finger. The infection can occur from hematogenous spread, but it's much more likely to occur from local inoculation from a laceration or a puncture wound or a bite. Dr. Knavel, in all his wisdom, has provided us with four signs. One, fusiform swelling. 2. Finger held in flexion, 3. Pain with passive extension, and 4. Pain with tendon palpation. I'm not sure what it is with medicine's fascination with comparing disease processes to food products like currant jelly stools with intussusception and chocolate colored blood with methemoglobinemia, but the trend continues with flexor tennis and nevatis. The fusiform swelling that we see is often referred to as a sausage-shaped digit. Fusiform, by definition, is a uniform swelling that tapers at the ends. So how do I explain finger held in flexion? Hmm. Well, when you examine the patient, the finger will be held in flexion. What about Knabel's third sign? Pain with passive extension. If you take your finger and extend the affected finger passively, they will complain of pain. And now for Knabel's fourth and final sign. If you palpate along the tendon sheath and they have tenderness, well, they've got flexor tendon synovitis. It's time to call the orthopedist. Together, you will decide whether operative or non-operative treatment is best for the patient. And that is flexor tendon synovitis and Knavel signs. Thank you, Dr. Knavel. I hope that you found this short video useful, and it was my pleasure bringing you this educational material.